In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can use Logic's multi-tumbrel feature to open up multiple instances of a library within one track of contact. The first thing that we'll need to do is open up a multi-output version of contact. So if I select the contact plugin here in our AU Instruments folder, I can then select the multi-output 16x stereo version here. The next thing we need to do is to select the multi-tumbrel tick box and then state how many parts we're using. For this specific tutorial, I'm going to be using Albion 1's brass ensembles, which come in three different parts. So I've selected three parts here, and then I can create the track. You'll see that Logic has now created three MIDI tracks here, routed to MIDI channel 1, channel 2, and channel 3. If I press X on my keyboard to open up the mixer window, you'll see that we're only going out of one track in Logic. For now, I'm going to change the output here to the stereo output, and then let's look at how we can route this within the contact plugin. To open up the Albion library, I'm first going to use the filter, and then if I select the instruments drop down, navigate to the Albion 1 orchestra via the folder. I can then open up the brass library in the order that I wish to use it. So as I want the high brass linked to channel one, I can open that first. Channel two is gonna be linked to the brass mids and brass low is gonna be on channel three. You'll see because I've opened it in that specific order, contact has automatically selected the correct MIDI channel for each instance. So we're going to port A, MIDI channel one, and port A is the host, which is our DAW MIDI. You'll see on the second instance of the library here, we're connected to channel two, and the final third instance is routed to channel three. To keep things simple, I'm now just going to rename the different parts of the track. The problem that we now have is that when I play each instrument, you'll see that we're only routing out of one audio channel at the moment, which is bad if you want to EQ the instruments individually and apply different compressions and effects. And if I try and play all three tracks together, so I can play all of the brass at the same time, you'll hear that this isn't possible. As we're only playing the low brass, which is channel three. So how can we play all of the instruments at the same time and route them to individual audio tracks? Well, we first need to press the small plus icon on the track here to open up extra audio tracks with the outputs that we need. You'll see that automatically Logic here selected output one and two, output three and four, and output five and six for contact. So we need to make sure that this is consistent with the contact plugin that we've loaded. If we select the menu here, and then select outputs, you'll see that currently we haven't assigned any outputs to the individual instruments here, but we can route the outputs easily by selecting the batch configuration dropdown, batch functions, and then select clear output section and create one individual channel for each of the loaded instruments. You'll now see that Contact has created an individual output for each of the instruments that were loaded here, labeled with the name of the instrument that we've loaded up. You'll see that the names aren't consistent. So what we can do here is just rename the tracks to match the track names that we've selected on the MIDI channels. So now when I select each channel and play each element of the library, you'll see that the signal is now gonna be routed out of a different audio track. So as I mentioned, this is great if you want to apply different audio effects in the audio effects drop down here to the different instruments that we've loaded within Contacts plugin. Finally, you might want to play these all at the same time. And as I showed earlier, this isn't possible if you highlight all of the tracks. If I play my keyboard, you'll only hear one of the instruments. So how do we play all three instruments at the same time so that they're all outputting here? Well, we can do that in Logic if we select all of the tracks and then hold down Shift, Command, and D to create a sum stack. Now that we've summed the instruments together, if we select the sum stack here and we rename this Albion 1 Brass, we can now play all three instruments at the same time using our MIDI keyboard that's connected and routed to the sum track here. <laughs> 
If you have any questions about how this works, please feel free to drop a comment below or join our community forum from the link in the description. Thanks for watching Spitfire Clips. Let us know if it was too long, too short, too fast or too slow in the comments down below. Hit like if we answered your question and subscribe for more clips, tips, tricks and exclusive Spitfire content.